Welcome to this series of tips on web services. We'll discuss different tips related to RESTful web services, SOAP web services and microservices as well. All the tips we would look at are on our GitHub repository in 28 minutes tips database. You have a wide range of tips in here. In this tip, we'll talk about the need to have great documentation. Who are you building your services for? You're building them for consumers and the consumers need to understand how to make the best use of your services and what best way to do that than providing great documentation for your services. Whether you're using WSDL, I mean, whether you're doing SOAP web services or RESTful web services. SOAP web services, you can use WSDL. And with REST services, probably Swagger is the preferred format today. The most important thing is not just choosing the format, but also making sure that the right amount of information is present for your consumers about each service. Making sure that the documentation is complete. It has how you'd want the consumer to authenticate himself. Making sure that you have all the usage limits documented in here. Making sure that you have all the response types or response status codes that you can expect out of the service documented. Making sure that the language you're using in the documentation is something which is understandable by all your consumers. The most important things are making sure that you choose the right format for documenting it and also making sure that you have all the documentation present in your service definition to help your consumers to make the best use of your service. One of the things that you can possibly do is have a common documentation portal across your organization. So consolidate all the resources which are present in your organization and provide a common documentation platform. Something like a Swagger UI would be a great thing. Using Swagger UI, you can actually look at the documentation. This is usable by even non-technical users. So even the non-technical users can look at what is the expected request format? What is the response that is coming out of each of these resources? And also it helps you to try it out to check whether the services are working fine. Do not forget to check out our tips database for more tips on a wide range of topics. Until I see you in another In 28 Minutes video, Here's bye from the team here at In28 Minutes.